Everybody, buddy, everybody, everybody. Okay. Da 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 da. Beyond the realm of mortal man lies a an area not known to those of mortal man. This is the cooking zone. Mom brought this for me. A little bit of it's a hamburger fries and a little bit of meatloaf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of meatloaf here in the Redneck Rancho. What are y'all doing? Come in here with me and stay a while. Oh my God! Really? Don't be so gobbler. Don't be so snobby. This is a nice place to be. Don't be a snob. Don't be a snob. Oh, stop. You're ogling over me. I'm going to wash this dish here. Good to see everyone here. I'm going to make a cream cheese for my mom. Hello. Hello, Michigan lady, Larley. Hello. How are you? Okay. I'm just going to wash a skillet to cook my mother a grilled cheese sandwich. These are delicious. I move these out of the way. <coughs> this is clean here. I'm going to do this and clean this up. Good to see everyone. Hello, Perfectly Imperfect. Good to see you here. Yes, good to see everyone. Remember the PayPal's open? I mean, Super Chat. Enjoy yourselves here on the screen. I just want to fix my mother a grilled cheese sandwich. I'm going to cream the, yeah. I'm just washing the skillet to make the grilled cheese with it. And what I do to clean some of these, um, um, garments. Dang, where did it go? I had a big brush when they good idea. I'm not going to show it, but if you buy a brand new toilet brush, guys, a brand new toilet brush, Street Life, how are you? Yeah, if you buy a brand new toilet brush and don't use it for the toilet, you can actually clean dishes with it. And this one's a little dirty, but this is a toilet brush, a brand new toilet brush, and you can use it to clean, you can clean your dishes inside of bottles with these toilet brushes. See? A toilet brush that's brand new that was never used for the toilet it's perfect for cleaning inside of cups and stuff it's scrubbing really well and it's filling up really well so if you buy brand new um those sponge bottle brushes don't last that long this is a toilet brush that lasts you forever
Live. Something that you're into RVs that you might be interested in. Laura Lee. I have to use baby bottle brushes on my daughter's water bottles. It's a chore, all those components. Yeah, I know what you mean. That sounds uh, like it would do a lot of... Uh, that's a baby bottle cleaner. Yeah. So anyway, a lot of stuff street life has been going on around a baby bottle cleaner. But um, uh, stuff going around about the states, do you have to title a truck camper? Does a truck camper, camper have to be titled and registered? If you have a camper on a truck, does it have, do you have to register the truck camper as well as the truck? You know, And in Kentucky, the answer is no. Now, there's a lot of people that are going to tell you differently that you need to register a truck camper and it needs to have a title. A truck camper has to have a title. Um, yes, Darwin, how are you? But, um, but the, the, but, um, but the answer is, in Kentucky and a lot of states, you don't have to have a title or registration on your truck camper. It's covered under the registration of your pickup truck. And the reason, the camper does not touch the ground. It does not have wheels on it. The truck camper does not have wheels on it. It does not touch the ground. It's not a vehicle. It cannot move without being on top of the truck. That's basically the truth about that. About registering a truck camper. It does not have to be registered. Very few places have to register a truck camper. I'm going to use some butter in my mother's, um, what do you call these sandwiches? Grilled cheese. Okay, I've got a little butter. There. Butter in the, butter in the skillet. Okay. A better butter, butter. Yes. Who is it? I'm waiting for you. Oh, Beulah Land. Oh, Beulah Land. I'm waiting for you. Oh, Beulah Land. I'm waiting for oh, you land. Oh, you land. I'm waiting for you. Excuse me. Oh, you land. Yeah, street life. Yeah, don't do that, Darwin. Be nice. Don't do that. Don't be that way now. Oh, and love. I'm on the cup. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My lips are like that. But when I touch my hand, and have a thrill I got. I'm in love. I'm all shook up. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Mm, you touch my hand and never do like that. I'm too to say you're my buttercup of my love. Uh, I'm all shook up. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I'm all shook up. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I touch my hand and have it till I got I'm in love. I'm all shook up. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I'm all shook up. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I touch my hand and have it till I got I'm proud to say she's my buttercup. I'm in love. I'm all shook up. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yay! Yeah, yeah. I put a little bit of butter on the 
knife to make it go through the cheese. You know, this is the hardest thing to do is to cut cheese. I mean, cutting cheese is difficult. Unless you've eaten soup beans, and it's not so hard to cut cheese. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, and I've got my cheese. Darn it, people. Mm. I don't want a troll to call me. Oh. Wouldn't you agree? Cutting cheese is pretty easy, I'd say. The unofficial Chris Bliss, how are you? I work, I come home, no time to stalk anyone. That's true. You got, hey there, uh, Chris Bliss, how are you? Yay. Madam X, how are you? Yeah, so I'm putting butter in this skillet. I'll do it like that so you can see a little better what I'm doing. Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit more butter in my skillet. I want to cook these sandwiches. Now these are going to be um, grilled cheeses, grilled cheese sandwiches. I always smell the bread, make sure the bread's good. Try not to use anything really old or expired. Let me get a, a spatula. A spatula. I need me a spatula. Yeah, I got me a spatula. Got me a spatula. Spatula. Okay, I got me a spatula here. I'm going to add just a little bit. Oops. Darn. Okay, and I'm going to take the sandwiches. And I'm going to slide them around in the butter. I don't want them to stick. Mm -hmm. so. Now it uses a lot of butter and it's not that healthy, but it's good. It tastes really good for you. So, yeah, I just slide it around enough to be able to make sure it's not going to stick. Do all this proper way, just like the proper people do. That's what I'm constantly doing, constantly moving this around. I'm constantly moving these around. I don't want them to stick. So, grilled cheese sandwiches, yes. Yes. Grilled cheese sandwiches, and here's the soup from this afternoon. Mom didn't like it too well. I'll tell you, she didn't like the, the soup too good. There. Now you can see what's going on. Yeah, this one's pretty well I can't believe it. Yeah. Uh-oh. Sandwich demolition. Sandwich demolition. The demolition of a sandwich. You totaled that sandwich. I totaled my sandwich. I totaled my sandwich. I had an old sandwich and I told her that old sandwich. I didn't total my sandwich. Sandwich wasn't total, thank God. Wouldn't that be weird if that was the name of a car, a sandwich? This is a 1992 sandwich. A car called a sandwich. Yes. It would be called a sandwich. Yeah, so these are my mom's. 
She's going to eat the grilled cheese. She's going to eat that grilled cheese. She's going to eat that sloppy slopper. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. See, guys? That's how you cook a grilled cheese sandwich. Grilled cheese sandwiches. Ooh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't shook up. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. My lips are light and they rock on what I mean to love. I'm all shook up. Uh -huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love. And I cut it with a nice sharp knife. Smells good. Ooh. The butter and everything just smells good. I'm going to fix it to look nice, you know? I want the sandwich to look nice. I want it to be nicely arranged, you know? This is the appearance of a gourmet grilled cheese sandwich. Okay. Now, there we go. This is the look of a gourmet grilled cheese. Ghetto gourmet, that's right. <laughs> Good to see everyone in here. Remember, my super chat's open if you want to tip, you know. So, it's up to you. And so, good stuff in here we have our sandwich for mom here i'm going to go ahead and give her her sandwich yes okay your sandwich is ready for you all right you bring it to me yeah you know i had some silver cheese i could wear oh, that's good look i made it look for me Okay, guys, yes. On another subject. You guys, on another subject. Okay. Hold on, guys. Hold on just a minute.
Excuse me. Hold on. Okay. Hey, Molly. Hold on. Molly. Molly Jane. Okay, guys, hold on. Molly Jane. What is it, honey? Molly Jane, baby. Come in here, sweet pea. Molly, come here. Good Molly Jane. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Okay, guys. I'm here. Sorry. Yeah, Lee Marie, good to see you. Anyway, even a lot of, um, older campers, newer campers, you don't have titles to them. Even, and it's harder to find a, a, an older pull-behind camper with a title. It's harder to find an older pull-behind camper with a title to it. What now? Laura Lee, Joni, we need to know. Arm of Couch. Prize for the winner. A pillow. I thought it was a couch. I think it's a lampshade, Madam X. Yes. Yeah. It was pointed at this. Can't at this. See, that's a lampshade. Oh uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Madam X, you won. Madam X won. Yay. Madam X won. Bumper pull. A lot of these pull behind campers, older ones don't have titles. So if you're looking for an older travel trailer, you know, we'll put vintage camper. Vintage camper. Now, some of these do have titles. So, hey, 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 hey. This is a nice one. I love this camper. Woo! It's a nice one. I'd love to have one like that. It's like a little mini mobile home. I'd love to live in it. Beautiful. Work of art, you know? Oh, yeah, I like it. Oh, man, this is a kin skill. 
check this out. This is a nice one. That's my favorite kind of trailer all the way around. It's a Kinskill. That's my very favorite. I'd love to do it and rebuild it and work on it. It would be so nice. A Kinskill is my favorite. No title. See? Look. My favorite campers don't have titles. See? Look. There is no title. Vintage campers. It's hard to find one with a title. It's hard to find a vintage camper. Yeah, with the title to it. It's hard to find one with a title. They're hard to find with titles. For a vintage one. I mean, they want 5500 for this, this is a, oh man, it's a tiny house. Log cabin camper. Functional. Have clear title. Oh, good. But it might be only titled as a utility trailer. That's nice. Like a log cabin. That's nice. That is bad to the bone. See, look. They even have a little, uh, uh, um, that's nice. Check this out. See, I love cabins. It's nice. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, they did a good job of that. 2000 Travel Master. Here's a Scotty. Not registered or titled. Look. See, look. It's a Scotty. Not registered. See, look. Not registered or titled. Not registered or titled. 64 Scotty. $8,000. $8,000 for a camper with no title to it. It's nice, but it doesn't have a title, you know? It's hard to find a camper, older camper with a title. And I think the truth is, you know, is this. This is the reason. And when you pull it, when you get a transfer pop-up, Purchasing a camper from another state. Look, purchasing a camper from an individual from another state. Fifth wheel travel trailer or pop-up. Yeah, it must be. Look at this. You'll need out-of-state title signed by a seller. Now, you can do that, but you see, in order to get it transferred to Kentucky, you have to have this. Fire marshal inspection fire marshal inspection that's what you have to do to get a camper transferred to kentucky you have to have a fire marshal inspection if you buy it from another state it has to be inspected by the fire marshal and these fire marshals are strict these fire marshals are really strict about stuff and you know and and you and it's it's hard to do you know so a lot of people just don't Oh, 20 years, okay. But either way, either way, if it's um, something old, you know, it's hard to get a title for a camper if it fails the fire marshal inspection. So there's some, a lot of these campers, you know, without titles. So I want you to know, it says here, it says fifth wheel, a camper, fifth wheel, travel trailer, or pop-up. It doesn't say anything about a truck camper. So you can get a truck camper from anywhere, in Kentucky, they do not have to be titled. Campers are cargo. I called the Department of Titles. Okay, cool. So, Bill is still working in New Hampshire. Oh, good. Street life. That's good. These straights, um, these states are all different. Frankfurt vehicles. Okay. And in Kentucky, oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Camping's a lot of fun. Yeah. Won't pass a fire inspection because everything is flammable. Well, I, they specialize in, yeah, RVs. It says, it doesn't rest on the road, so it's considered cargo in, in Kentucky. Truck campers don't ride on the road. They sit on the back of a truck. They're not, they, they don't run on the road. So basically, that's the point is, you know, there's some people online saying that in a lot of states, truck campers have to be titled. So if anybody's watching that note that's into them, you, you don't... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Molly, what is it, sweet pea? What is it, sweetheart? What is it, sweet pea? What do you want, honey? Pretty thing. What do you want? You want us to lay down in the bed together? You want to lay down in the bed, sweet pea? 
You want us to lay down in the bed? Is that what you want, Angel Baby? Yes. Oh, okay. This is way too much. Give me, Sharyana. You know, bumper pull would be nice. Oh, you're tired of the RV, Sharyana? I'm so over this RV. It uses way too much gas. I know what you mean. You could always get a truck camper, too, you know, if you wanted to. Get the ones with the electric jacks. Yeah. You get a truck camper with electric jacks bolted to it. Yeah, she's cute. Um, but it won't have the tripod jacks. It'll have the electric remote jacks, Sherryana. And if you get a pickup truck, you can use it. You get a pickup truck, you can use it through the week to haul limbs away or anything. Ordinary stuff. You should use it for ordinary stuff and get a... You could get a truck camper if you wanted to boondock. It's up to you. But, yeah, exactly. Laura Lee, boondock everywhere. No issue, just saying. If I get a knock, if someone at a Toyota RV wants to talk about it. Oh, they want to talk about your RV when they see a Toyota RV. Cool. Yeah, you can always move if you see someone police stop you and your RV boondocking. That's why I really chose a truck camper so I can boondock. That's what I want to do like street life, you know, just boondock wherever I want to go. You know, Tasha Teeling and, you know, all, and Coates and everyone else, they all boondock everywhere they go, so most of the time. You can go to a campground and you can take the truck camper off the truck. You know, you can make a base camp somewhere. Yeah, you can you can, ba you can base camp or set up a ba base camp and go out in the woods in a tent, you know. You can go out in the woods in tents and stuff. So I like tents and I like going out in tents. I like to go way up into the back country sometimes. It'll be nice. Way up in the woods. Yeah, my little model I made. My truck camper model. So. <clears throat> Everyone talks about the knock. Hell, don't answer. What are they going to do? Yeah, they don't know you're in there, Madam X, you know. They don't know you're in there. If you're in there. Yeah. They're pretty stone earth. Come here, sweet pea. Come on this way. with me, sweet pea. Up. Come on up with me, little one. Oh. Baby. Up. Up with me. Pretty princess, come on. Molly Jane. Molly, up. Up. Up with me. Pretty princess, what do you want, honey? What do you want, sweet pea? What do you want, Molly Jane? Up, come on. What do you want? What do you want? What does he want? You want to get up? Here, up. Up, up with me, up. I don't know why you want me to put you up. <laughs> oh, sorry, baby. Come Okay. Oh, thank you, Laura Lee. Yes, yeah, she is. She's a good girl. If the four was under power, it looks like her water dish is empty. She's got a little. I guess she needs more. A lot where Madame X got V6. I never had a camper or RV. I always borrowed from my dad. He had it all. The pop-up pickup camper was my favorite. Tintish, but off the ground. Yeah, I liked it off the ground. That's why I like something off the ground. 
Toyota's a four cylinder. Never had a cop tell me I had to move, but I don't cause trouble. I'll sit on top of Wi Fi. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if you mind your own business and don't bother anybody else, they just red tag it. You have to have a search warrant, exactly. Dang. Yeah. Yeah, good to see everyone here in the stream today. I'm glad everybody's here, and I still want to put my tiny house on Pontoon Anchor and, and Key Largo. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? A tiny house. Yeah, and I'd love you can take just to put your tiny house wherever you want it to be. For every reason. My chihuahua, is she mixed with Pekingese? That's what I thought Denise are. I thought she looks like a t Pekingese too. That's what I'm thinking. Look at she's in the cover. She's covered up. <coughs> yeah, chihuahua, she's mixed with Pekingese, I believe. Chickenese, I guess you could call her. Pick a well one. Yeah. Look. Oh, oh, no. Okay. Okay. I don't want to show my bath on that. Okay, I'll let you guys go. Yeah, I'll let you go. Catching the flip side. <clears throat> Did you all see my mom tell no. me yes or no? No. I'm just making sure they didn't. Yeah, I have tent camping too. Yeah. I'll come back. <laughs>